Greetings in Christ. This is your three-minute psalm devotion for Psalm 72. Psalm 72 is a really nice, wonderful prophecy of Christ and his kingdom. It's one of those psalms, when you read it, you might think, where is Christ in here? Well, he's really all over the place. This is clearly not a psalm simply about Solomon, which uh, is his name comes up in the uh, subscription of the psalm, right? Uh, psalm 70 of Solomon. It's clearly not simply a human king and there's several factors that uh, alert us to that for example in the psalm there's this prophecy that all the nations of the earth will worship this king whom we are praising right now and so it's clearly not just solomon and it's a, a great comfort to those who are in this kingdom and as a believer in christ you are in this kingdom one of the great preaching uh, motifs or themes of jesus when he was uh, walking this earth is the kingdom of God has come upon you. That is, here I am. I am the great king that these prophets and Psalms have prophesied. All right, so here's verse 1 and 2, Psalm 72. Give the king your justice, O God, and your righteousness to the royal son. May he judge your people with righteousness and your poor with justice. Now, uh, uh, Hebrew translational note here there throughout this psalm there's may he the king do this and may the nations come to you and do this you can translate that with just as much authority as he will so he verse 2 he will judge your people with righteousness okay and for example if you look up in the king james verse 2 he shall judge okay so so this is where why we uh missouri senators uh, insist on our pastors having some hebrew and greek because this this kind of changes the tone of the psalm a little bit may he judge your people with righteousness has a little bit of a different import than he will judge there's a much more prophetic kind of a solidness to he will judge your people with righteousness okay so there and you're poor with justice okay Let's skip to verse 8. May he, or he will, have dominion from sea to sea and from the river to the ends of the earth. Okay, right now you can see this is no human king. This is like king of the world kind of stuff here. May the desert tribes bow down to him and his enemies lick the dust. May the kings of Tarshish and of the coastlands render him tribute. May the kings of Sheba and see him bring gifts. Verse 11, may all kings fall down before him, all nations serve him. There, clearly, we're talking about a messianic king, a savior king, Jesus, right? Here, Jesus is really the king of this world. The, the nations and this state of California are the, think that they're kind of king of the world. Well, they're mistaken. Jesus is the king, and come judgment day, all earthly kings are going to go, oops, Here's the real king, right? I'm running out of time. Let me bring your attention to verse 14. In this kingdom, what is precious to the king in this kingdom? Look at verse 14. From oppression and violence, he, this great king, redeems their life, and precious is their blood in his sight. Here we are notified that in this kingdom, while glorious and wonderful, here's where the poor and the needy and the humble find salvation yet there is still suffering there is still the cross to bear and should you ever have to shed your blood for the sake of christ it's something that's precious to god all right have a blessed day in the lord